During an operation, hundreds of instruments and sponges may be used. Keeping track of every last one is paramount to the safety of the patient. Every sponge, every instrument, every scalpel blade is open, counted before the procedure starts and count it again at the end of the procedure to make sure that everything that was there is still there. That's standard practice for Dr. Paul Laverme and his team. But Marna Gold had a different experience. Something went wrong with that implement accountability after her surgical procedure. I didn't understand why I would have lumps after history. She kept having pain and ran a high fever. It was eventually discovered that sponges were left inside her after surgery and she would need another operation to remove them. I was, had inside of me two pads that they had overlooked. Gold made a full recovery. And now there's a new technology to help prevent this from happening again. Sponges are being fitted with a radio frequency chip. After surgery, doctors will use a wand over the patient and check for an RF signal from a sponge that may have been left behind. It's currently being used in 16 local hospitals, including Montefiore in the Bronx. And there are other technologies and tools for tracking surgical instruments. Different RF technology can track instruments that may get left behind. And here, a simple plastic case can visually account for other surgical items. None of the technological adjuncts substitute for the surgeon's role. The surgeon has to do a wound examination before they begin to close. Dr. Gibbs is a surgeon and also the director of a national surgical safety project. She says there's a place for technology but is still in favor of simple bags like these that can easily account for all sponges used and keep the surgical staff engaged with proper counting techniques. And RF technology would add about ten dollars to the cost of a surgery. Not so much, ten bucks. Well, I think it's worth it. Not right? have to go in back into the operating room again.